President Muhammad Buhari at a bilateral meeting with Mark Ruth, Prime Minister of the Netherlands in New York, says Nigeria would have been in serious trouble if he did not close the borders at the time he did. On the economy, the President said Nigeria took decisions to shut the borders, eat what we grow, and curb smuggling, noting that if that had not been done, we would have been in serious trouble. He also told the Dutch leader that Nigeria was preoccupied with terrorists and bandits ravaging the country, saying we are preoccupied with security and we are getting somewhere. Femi Adesino quoted the president to have told the Dutch prime minister. Mr. Adesino, the president's spokesman, indicated that Mr. Buhari's meeting with Mr. Ruth took place on Friday on the sidelines of the 76th UN General Assembly. The Nigerian leader added that the Northeast and South-South, which were the issues in 2015, stabilized while efforts had been intensified to restore calm to the Northwest, North Central and other restive areas. We are lucky to have taken the decision when we did, otherwise things would have been impossible with the advent of COVID-19, the president explained. On the specter of military coup in West Africa, President Buhari told his guests that he was surprised at the attitude of those tampering with the constitution of their countries to stay longer in office. He assured that ECOWAS was doing the needful to address the developments. Mr. Ruth congratulated the Nigeria president Buhari on successfully leading the country. Of course, what do you want him to say? Oh, I don't know whether he more. What do you want? What do you want, want him to say? To say, oh, he's not doing well. Of course, now nah, that is what is expected of him to have said. To say he has done very well. So coming back to what Buari himself has said, that if not that a uh, border, the borders uh, were closed, that Nigeria would have been in serious trouble. That because he, he encouraged buy what you grow. You see the hypocrisy. We produce doctors in this country. Does he patronize them? No, 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 he doesn't do that. Buy Nigeria, grow Nigeria. That thing was really raining at that time. You know, it was really the order of the day. It was just all over the place. Buy Nigeria, grow Nigeria. Buy Nigeria, grow Nigeria. But Buari was deceiving them. The same Buari that knew quite well that he has been using his his personal doctor for close to how many years. He came and told Nigerians that, hey, oh, public officers will not be allowed to go to medical uh, for medical trip abroad because believing that is going to make the medical sector viable very good but at the end of the day his people are not telling us that how do you expect him to just drop his doctors like that and he's the he's the one who has even when he said it's not going to happen that officials will not be officers uh public officers will not be going for treatments abroad he's the one that did it most and it is just so glaring the same man that told us that uh, there's nothing like a subsidy First subsidy, there's nothing like first subsidy at all. Hmm. Oh my goodness. If you ask, it's a uh, whatever now, he supports us now. Somebody like a uh, Kayamo, I I once heard him saying that uh, it is not a subsidy that the government is paying, that the government is paying, paying premiums. You know, they want to use the English to confuse themselves. Once they are fit, they begin to use, bring all manner of nonsense and rubbish excuses here and there. Hmm. So what we are having now, so Nigerians are now eating in surplus. They are not, they have everything in plenty. They have everything in surplus. Is that what he's telling us? Now that he has closed the border, things are so expensive. The farming business that people are supposed to engage in, a lot of people went into farming, deceived people to go into farming. People went into farming. A lot of them ran back. Some people could not make it at the end of the day because their, life, their lives went in for that. He didn't see anything. Nobody can even go to a farm now because of his people, because of the Fulani Esme who have been killing people year and day. That's it. And this man is talking Yani or Pata. That is, that is how it has always been. The war Nigerians are experiencing is already more than serious trouble. And mind you, only southern borders were closed. Northern fridges were deceitfully left open for Fulani, ban Fulani bandits and Boko Haram to infiltrate the country with sophisticated weapon and cause mayhem with the kind of insecurity experience. Isn't it obvious? 
God, why? Why is this happening to this country? We don't deserve this man. He's too good for us. We don't appreciate his efforts. He closed borders to keep us from serious trouble. If he wasn't smart enough to close the borders, maybe those kidnappers and bandits would have been abducting our brothers and sisters in thousands instead of hundreds. Yet we don't appreciate his efforts. Wow. Please, God, call this Messiah to our side. He's too good to be with us. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't understand now. Oh, he's referring Buhari to Messiah. So the boy, that God should just call him to his side because he's too good for us. Anybody that reacts or comments negatively against me. Hmm. Okay. Oh. You closed border in south and left the northern border open. Do you know that they have not even come out to tell us or to debunk that? It has been going on for a very long time. They can't debunk that. And they, they will tell you that they have done this, they have done that. No wonder there are so much troubles, crisis, harassment, and banditry in the northern Nigeria where their, where their borders are not closed down. Please, the federal government and is not sincere at all. Um, okay, I'm just happy. No more hunger in Nigeria anymore. Yeah, so Nigeria, Nigerians are, are living in surplus. Nigerians are now living in plenty. So what we are experiencing now, so what could have happened? Which trouble passed the one where we did? Where we did now? Blind presidents. I wish these tyrants, go students, will be able to see all these comments against him. Buhari, the heavens and the, oh, Nigerians are against you. You are too wicked and make us suffer. The country keeps going backward because of your incompetence and negligence. You have even borrowed the future of the country with loans from other countries. God will judge you soonest if nobody can arrest or accuse accuse you. So now, Mr. President, is the country safe and out of serious of trouble with your base or with your bias system and nepotism sectional system of government that you are practicing? Ah, it is you. You have refused to see the good things, good things that Buhari is doing. That is why you, you cannot even see it. They will tell you that you have you have refused to see it, that there's nothing they will do that you you will appreciate. That is what his people always tell us. To him, he has done nobles. He has done nobles to him. If you think he has not done anything, that is your own problem. That is your own cup of tea. That is your own cup of tea. If you think Buhari has not done anything, it's your own cup of tea. Because to him, he has done noble. He has done everything. Ah, they will praise themselves now. Whether you are suffering or not, that is your own palaver. But to him, he knows that he has done the needful. And if you are not satisfied with this, so be it. So guys, let's say your opinion on this.